CTE Pro 1 Special Situations Series Video 2 Visual Advantages. We're going to take a look at a difference, a little refinement type difference that occurs between basic CTE in contrast to what can happen for disguised pivoting. So this shot, and I'm not even going to shoot anything today. Um, many of you notice that I curl my hand like this sometimes when I shoot, maybe a lot, and it does uh, help me to lessen the amount of tremor that I have in my stroking arm. Uh, it's, it's something that I constantly battle with, so uh, it can affect uh, uh, the execution of some of my shots. So uh, when that doesn't matter, and then perhaps I won't be executing shots. But in this case, it's not necessary for me to actually execute the shot. I'm just going to give you some very important knowledge so that you can refine what it is that you know about basic CTE and disguise pivoting. This skew ball object ball relationship is set up as a 15 outside. This is set up as a 30 inside. Now, when you're using basic CTE, it is to your advantage to place your V on the outside of the sight line. So you've got this center to SP15 sight line here. It is to your advantage to consciously, yeah, you want to have a cognitive awareness that you are in fact placing your bridge V on the outside of this line slightly. Tweaking very well may ensue when you engage in the stepping process. That's okay. That's part of it. When you're doing basic CTE, you're going to tweak your bridge V uh, so that it is on the no imagination shot line, what we refer to as the missile. The same thing for this for basic CTE, for this 30 inside, then I'm going to consciously, with, with, with full intent, to place my bridge D just to the inside of the sight line, in this case, which is the center to the outer edge of the object ball. That is the optimal position for you to place your bridge D to be on the missile. And if not, it's in the optimal position to be slightly tweaked so that you're ready to solve the shot with a center cue ball alignment. That's basic CTE. It is your, it's a visual advantage for you to engage in consciously placing your bridge bead either to the inside or the outside of that center to edge sight line. Now, let's take a look at disguise pivot. It is to your advantage to refine your knowledge in this manner over time. Perhaps you can't do it now, but you can, you, you can have it for uh, use later on. So for this 15 outside in disguise pivoting, when I drop down on this shot, I'm going to actually have my cue angled out away from center. And somebody's going to say, whoa, wait a minute, that's basic CTE. You're going to pivot your cue in the center. No, here's the difference. Here's the difference. I'm going to bypass any conscious thought to deliberately place my bridge V on the outside of the sight line. The, sight, the word sight line is not going to be on my radar. But what is on my radar is the, the intention of taking my bridge V as directly to the missile, the step center, that I possibly can. So when I drop that on this shot, I'm not thinking bridge V placement to the outside of the sight line. I'm 
what I'm doing is I'm picking up the perfect perception without any conscious awareness of my bridge feed being on the outside of the sight line. So what am I doing with my bridge feed? At the core of this whole thing, Sunday bed Jamie, it's all about getting the perfect bridge feed placement. So, so for this particular situation here, I would uh, go down with, my, of course, my head at parallax, turn to the inside, and instead of being aware of bridge feed placement to the outside of the sideline, I'm already in the process of stepping the cue ball and getting my bridge feet tweaked to the step center. So this is dual focus looping at its highest level of application. The most professional application possible. My mind is, it's, you might say it's split. My brain is split to a degree. I'm, I'm looking for the perfect perception. At the same time, I'm stepping the cue ball and tweaking my bridge beat to be on the nissle. So, the byproduct of that is the fact that my bridge beat will automatically be on the outside of the sight line in the perfect location. So, I'm saving a little bit of mental energy when I engage in disguise pivoting. I'm not paying attention to the sight line because at my level, I, I don't need to. I know that bridge bead placement will be to the outside of the sight line as long as my bridge bead is on the nest. So, that's an important piece of knowledge. It's a refinement. It's, it's, it's not basic CTE. So you see, when I come into this, I've got my cue out of the way. My cue's out of the way so I can work that bridge be tweaking to the step center so that my vision can engage in seeing the perfect perception between the cue ball and the object ball. Dual focus looping at its best. You don't have time to engage in negative thinking with CTE because CTE gives you purposeful things to do that keep you engaged in what's important, making this ball in the center of this pocket. You're not thinking about, well, I need to win this game. You're not thinking about, uh, uh, I'm not going to get position or something like that. Your mind is where it should be at that moment in time. Again, you might want to rewind this and watch it a few times. Repetition is one of the major strategies for learning. Repetition. Watch this video a few times. Read my book multiple times. You know I've read my book probably a hundred times. And I plan on reading it again. Every time that you read my book, every time that you watch that true series, your knowledge about Center Day Jamie is going to grow. Don't just read the book once and think, well, I've read the book. Read the book. Read the book. Read the book. Multiple times. I've been playing the guitar a little bit lately, and I was having a conversation with a friend that's coming for lessons uh, next Tuesday, and he asked me if I heard one of his songs, and I said, yeah, I've listened to it 30 times. Probably more than that. Repetition. I've probably played it a hundred times. Repetition is the key. Now let's look at this uh, uh, 30 inside. This guy's pivot. So when I set up for this shot, and I say I'm in full stance, that, the beauty of this guy's pivoting is you can do everything right down here in full stance. So my mind is not focused on putting my bridge V to the inside of the sight line. My mind is engaged in dual focus looping. I'm going to loop between seeing a perfect 30 degree perception. Here I was 
looping between seeing a perfect 15 degree perception and aligning my bridge V to the outside step center. Here, I'm engaged in a dual function. We call it dual focus looping. I'm looking for the perfect perception, absolute perfect perception. We're not talking about adjustments here. We're talking about center to edge aiming that when applied correctly, it's a perfect system. So, when I fall in on this shot, so I'm in full stance. I'm looking at the perfect perception. I'm stepping the cue ball to the inside. And at the same time, I'm, I'm working my bridge V to be on the extended step center that comes back this way. Now, where do I have my cue? I have my cue out of the center. How much? Could be a half tip. Uh, could be a full tip. Could be at the edge of the ball. That's up to me. As long as I get my bridge V in the right place, then I'm ready to go. So, for disguised pivoting, I can actually turn my cue into center and it would appear to be basic CTE. But keep in mind, basic CTE is see the sight line, place your bridge feet. In disguised pivoting, your goal is to go directly to the missile. That's what I'm doing. I'm going directly to the missile not with my Q-tip, but with my bridge V. So, so I'm going directly to the missile with my mind doing some uh, dual function here, looking at the perfect perception, looking at the step center. And then, once I'm at the step center, once I have the perfect perception, then I'm aligned to a perfect alignment that is a slight overcut to center that will give me a professional entry into center pocket. I am working as hard as I can to help you along with center edge aiming. I'm reaching out to those of you around the world that are interested in center edge aiming. You can check, you can check out my comprehensive center edge aiming book Center Pocket Music using CTE Pro 1 to improve your pool game. You can check that out at JustKill.com. There's a CTE Truth Series on YouTube. I've started a new series here for special situations. If you would please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would certainly appreciate it. Would you tell others to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Uh, I put a lot of work into this uh, and it's very gratifying to me to see the, the number of subscribers grow on my YouTube channel. Uh, so you can, you can check my book out at uh, justqit.com. Thank you for your attention. I would not be here if it were not for you, my supporters. Thank you very much.